Hi, good morning. Today we are going to discuss about the defect severity and priority. In this session, I will explain what is severity, categories of severities, what is priority, categories of priorities, and some real time examples on different levels of severity and priority. First thing, severity. Severity which describes seriousness or impact of the defect to perform further test execution. That means as a test engineer, you have the 50 test cases you take in, you started execution. Well, execution time of those test cases, you got the defect. Due to that defect, how much impact the defect is taking, your remaining test cases execution, based on that, we give the severity. That is the meaning here, test engineer's point of view. Whatever defect you identified, how much impact the defect is taking for the test execution. Based on that, we provide severity. We means test engineers are going to provide the severity. There can be different levels of severities. First one is critical, high functional defect, and there is no workaround to continue execution high functional defect and there is no workaround to continue execution. That means testing cannot continue without solving such a defect. That we are going to call critical. This kind of defects also called as showstopper defects or fatal defects also we are going to call. Second thing, major high functional defect that means very frequently user is going to use but without solving this defect it is also possible to continue the test execution that is the major moderate medium and low functional defects minor user interface and the usable related defects user interface maybe logo is incorrect Still, I can able to continue. It won't impact my execution activities. Usability, maybe tab is not working. Still, I can able to continue. This is the minor we are going to call. That's the different levels of severities we have. Next one, priority. It describes importance of the functionality in which we identified a defect. That is from user point of view. So customer point of view, how frequently he is going to use that functionality based on the priority is going to be derived. Test cases priority is different, defect priority is different. Now we are talking about the defect priority. Who is going to give this kind of priority? Most of the cases developers are going to give. Even though you give a test engine, they can change it is after analyzing the defects. That's what I given here. Whenever we reported defects to developers, then developing team will conduct triage meeting. Developing team will conduct a triage meeting. So on defects, at that time, developers can give or they can change priority for defects. There can be different levels of priorities such as urgent, high, medium, low, urgent, high, medium, low. These are the different kind of priority levels. Very frequent use functionalities, urgent, high, very frequent use functionalities, common use functionalities. So here also high you can give. Urgent or high, either one. Urgent means maybe execution point of view, there may be showstopper defect identified. You can go for the urgent. 
high means we can say that very important functionality without solving this diff functionality defect not possible to deliver the application high then medium common functionalities low very rarely used functionalities we can go for the low so some examples we'll see with a high priority and high severity an error which occurs on the basic functionality of the application and will not allow the user to use the system so basic function that means core functionality got the defect so where application not allowing to user to operate the application that is the high priority and high severity we have to provide example user login functionality fails user login functionality fails means even though you given the valid username valid password not allowing here that is the user login functionality fails the other thing here web page not found when user clicks on a link which is used frequently data loss when using features like new customer registration change account settings change password contact us form complaint form etc this type of things while doing your data which you enter that's not storing into the page it's not going to remaining it is so there is a data loss you log into the our flipkart.com account add items to the cart and I click the proceed to checkout button so you try to make the payment at the time system is going to crash this type of things we have to go for the high priority and high severity so this type of things but basically understand whichever application you are going to show in the resume if the offset high priority high severity this point based related functionality you have to say in your application which occurs the basic function of the application and will not allow the user to use the system next high priority and low severity high priority and low severity the spelling mistakes that happens on the cover page or headings or title of an application user point are very important but spelling mistakes are there title is not correct will not impact your execution you can able to continue your execution activity that is a low severity example company name spelling misspelled some text in place of user name they given user name like this on main page that would be viewed several times per day is misspelled incorrect product or service information that could harm the company or cause unwanted confusion like incorrect fees or price mentioned like this after doing the transaction we are expecting some message success message is not showing us in spite of the process or functionality working fine and as expected this type of things we can go for the high priority user point of important but a low severity will not impact the execution activities low priority and high severity low priority and high severity some link that would not be used frequently by the end user causes a system crash our application stops responding user is not going to use but execution is not possible that is reason high severity scenario where entering more than 150 characters if i enter 150 characters more than that in the password field maybe system is going to crash or corrupts the database these things we can go for the low priority and high severity low priority as well as low severity related defect any cosmetic or spelling issues in some part of the application that would not be accessed frequently by the end user that means it is not in the cover page not in the heading or title 
font size, spelling error, alignment, font color like this. Another example, click, clicks on the conditions of use hyperlink at the bottom of the flipkart.com home page. In this home page, bottom is there, very rarely users is going to use it is. There can be spelling mistakes out there. Then you can go for the low priority and low severity. Here, what is severity? The fact, the general meaning of severe, the fact or condition of being severe. Severity is the fact or condition of being severe. Priority means here, a thing that is regarded as more important than others. So says that which one we need to solve first priority. So severity, how severe it is to go for the execution activities. The severity, severe, how much severe it is. Priority, how much important it is. That is the priority. Thank you. Subscribe my channel.